government of President Buhari took over in Nigeria six months. Nigeria's Second Republic politics featured several distinguished personalities. Umaru Diko was one of them. Diko came into public reckoning at an early age in 1967 when he was appointed as a commissioner of finance in the then old Kaduna state. He became an active and influential politician in the Second Republic politics upon the electoral victory of his political party, the National Party of Nigeria, NPN, when President Sheo Shagari appointed him as Minister of Transport. The political dynamo, was the, the real power behind Shagari's uh, government. Alaji Umaru Diko was a great Nigerian, a patriotic Nigerian. His death is a great loss not only to members of his family, to the people of Kaduna State, but to the entire nation. Long before Umaru Diko's foray into partisan politics, his activism dates back to his days as a student in the United States of America. Led the Nigerian students during the quest for independence. Umaru Diko also played other roles in the Second Republic politics. He was head of the Presidential Tax Force on Rice and ran Shagari's campaign for re-election in 1983 presidential election which the MPN won. Today we mourn him, we mourn his contributions, numerous contributions to the development of our country and all of us have agreed that if the Second Republic was not truncated, if it was allowed to continue, Nigeria would have been a better place today. With the collapse of the Second Republic, following a military coup led by General Muhammadu Buhari, Umaru Diko became a prime target of the military rulers. Umaru Diko was one of the most misunderstood politicians in Nigeria. He was accused of all sorts of things, particularly by the military, because of his dogged opposition to military takeover in Nigeria. Having escaped to London, Omar Odeko launched attacks on the military regime, which he described as usurpers. I believe in democracy. I believe that people ought to be given the right to freely choose their government. I believe in that. And if anybody uh, uh, is against that, then I'm against him. So in short, I am anti-military regimes, no matter where they are. Any Democrat anywhere in the world would hate to... To, 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 to support military, military incursion into any political life of a country. And that is what exactly Alaji Umaru Diko stood for. Diko's attack on Buhari's military junta led to what is now regarded as an untidy diplomatic baggage row between Nigeria and Britain. The military junta's plot to kidnap Umaru Diko from London with the assistance of some Israeli security operatives was foiled at the Stamsteed Airport by the British intelligence. Elijah Umar Duko was incorruptible because he was not found to have amassed uh, wealth uh, after the toppling of the Shagari regime. All those who accused him of corruption were not able, able to pin any quabo stolen by Umar Duko in his public life. Omaru Diko, until his death at the age of 78, was the chairman of the ruling People's Democratic Party PDP Disciplinary Committee. Described by some as a grossly misunderstood man, Omaru Diko will indeed be missed by his colleagues and contemporaries with whom he held sway, especially in the country's Second Republic. Onyema Kono, Ogbe, AIT News, Abuja.